Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to get a Froyo update on your Samsung Galaxy S phone, more specifically, the Epic 4G. The ROM I will show you will be the Quantum ROM. The reason why I prefer this ROM is because it has very good speed and most likely not to crash on you. I have been using this ROM since it came out. I have been using version 1.4 and will show you how to update to version 1.5. So first you want to go to xdadevelopers.com then you want to go to the Samsung Epic 4G then you want to go to Epic 4G Android Development then you want to find the ROM called Quantum ROM version 1.5 once you get to the post you will find the download link for the newest ROM at the top so you want to download that one I'm not going to actually download it because I have downloaded on my computer already so this ROM has fast speed it includes the DK17 kernel it includes clockwork mod it's based on Froyo DK17 Froyo leak it has BusyBox pre-installed protected apps show in the market now custom modified touchwiz launcher that's what's in uh, version 1.5 so now I will show you on camera how to actually install it on your phone alright see you soon okay in this part of the video I will show you how to actually install it on your phone so first you want to turn off the phone or remove the battery remove the battery put the battery back in put the cover back on and then you want to hold the volume down the camera button then the power button and hold them till the phone comes to clockwork mod okay so now you will see you will see reboot system now apply SD update SD card update and then um, the one you want to go to is install zip from SD card so then you want to press the camera button right here then you want to go to choose zip from SD card then you want to go down to um, the zip that you have downloaded and put on your um, phone so I'm going to go to that okay then you will see quantum ROM v 1.5.zip so you want to click the camera button on that then you want to go down to yes install click the camera button then it's going to update you'll see the progress bar going across so just wait for it to go down it may take um, three minutes three to five minutes as you can see it's going across
these words above the screen are normal. Okay, after that's that little message that comes around in blue, it will say, install from SD card complete. So then you want to go down to go back then you want to go to wipe data factory reset then you want to do that at least three times this is my second time doing it again and then one more time Okay, then you want to go to wipe couch partition. Alright, then you want to reboot system now. Then wait for it to boot up. This may take up to five minutes, so I'm not going to actually um, show it booting up, um, but that's the end of the video, so enjoy.